Hey everybody, John R.B. here, and um, back with my weekly update video. Uh, today is Friday, November 8th, 2019, um, and you're here joining me on my weight loss journey, my OMAD weight loss journey. Um, so, last week, I weighed in at 284.6, um, which, which was a good, which was good, because the week before was, eh, okay. So, um, I'll go over what I weigh this week a little bit later in the video um, but we'll go over some other stuff I actually have some measurements for you guys this week um, so when I first started my journey I actually did take measurements um, probably not every measurement but most of them so we'll go over that today as well um, and then as usual I'll go over what I ate during the week and uh, all that and then I have my uh, my weekly movie quote and and things like that so um, Let's get this thing started, shall we? When I first started my journey, um, I just took a few measurements. I think I took uh, neck, waist, hips, arms, and thighs. I didn't do the chest, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so when I first started, my neck size was a 19.5, 19 and a half inches on my neck. Um, my waist, around by my belly button area, oh, uh, that was 57 inches. My hips were 50 inches, my arm, both my arms actually were 18 and a half inches, and my thigh was 32 inches. This morning, I uh, took my measurements again. And I usually do it every month, you know, from pretty much from when I started my journey, for the most part, give or take a few days. So uh, this morning I did my measurements, and my neck this morning was 18 inches, my waist was 53, um, my hips were 47, my arm was 16, both my arms were 16 inches, and my thighs were 28 inches. So, I lost in my neck a total of one and a half inches since I started. My waist, I've lost four inches, which is absolutely amazing, because that's where most of my weight is, I guess. Um, or at least most of my belly, you know, my fat. Um, my hips, I went down three inches. My arms, uh, about in two and a half inches and my thighs four inches so the inches are moving I mean certainly have quite a bit um, I'm, I didn't do a total you know you know inches I didn't add everything together and subtract everything yet but you get the idea I lost some inches and I'm very happy about that so that's great news and then um, and, and like I said since the beginning the weight loss you know has been absolutely amazing and I and I certainly can't complain, you know. Any any week where I lose something, it's a win for me, and I'm very happy about it. And and even if I have a week where I don't do that great, I'm still pretty much happy about it because look, I'm on this journey, and and like other people have said, it's it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's gonna take time. We know it's gonna take time, but we'll get there in the end. Am I right? So let's go over the food for the week, uh, what we ate during the week. So, Sunday, I made um, one of my, my my wife's favorite dishes. It's actually broccoli and gavadil. For those who don't know who that is, what that is, it's actually broccoli and gav cavatelli. It's actually broccoli and cavatelli, but we say gavadil here. So, that, and I also made uh, some smoked sausage wrapped in bacon. So, that was a good dinner, and my wife enjoyed it very much. So did the kids. Right, Brooke? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got my daughter over here. A little helper, just in case I need her. Never know. Um, Monday, we wound up having tuna pasta, right? I think we had tuna pasta on Monday. And you like that. I mean, we all like that. Tuesdays, as usual, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> right? Wednesday, we wound up ordering Chinese food because I wound up getting home late, worked a little late, had hit a lot of traffic, so we just ordered Chinese. I wound up having egg foo young, and I just had it, the egg foo young, the rice. I don't usually use the brown sauce, and uh, that was pretty much my dinner on Wednesday. And the other, you had chicken nuggets, as usual. Um, on Thursday, we wound up actually ordering again for an, another reason. So I wound up actually ordering a salad with uh, some grilled chicken, things like that. And uh, on Friday, uh, today, 
I actually didn't eat dinner tonight because I didn't know, did not know this beforehand. At my job, we wound up going out for breakfast for a meeting. Didn't know what was happening. Nobody told me the day before. So went to a diner, and I had breakfast today. I wound up having an omelet with, like, bacon, sausage, and onions, peppers, and cheese, and some hash browns. Home fries, actually. Home fries. And some toast. So I had breakfast. So I figured, you know what? I'll eat breakfast today. I won't eat dinner. I won't eat until tomorrow night. I figure, no big deal. So that was my one meal today. Although tonight, when I got home, I did have to, um, didn't have to, but I wanted to have a drink. So I wound up having a uh, glass of scotch. So tonight, you know, I figured I'll have a glass of scotch or four. We'll see. <laughs> but this is my first one, so. Cheers to everybody out there. Um, so that was my week as far as food went. So it was a good week. I had a good week. Kids had a pretty good week. Wife had a good week. Everybody was happy. So yeah, that was pretty good. So getting into the weight loss. So this week, when I weighed myself this morning, got on scale and I was, uh, just a reminder, last week I was 284.6. This week, 282.9. So that's a weekly loss of 1.7 pounds. Great, very happy about that, awesome. So overall, since the beginning, 42.1 pounds. Man, I'll tell you, it's, it's pretty amazing. You know, this, this intermittent fasting, OMAD, whatever you guys do, whether it's Warrior, OMAD, 16 and 8, it works, man. And I'm very happy that I'm on this path, and I'm glad that I'm losing the weight that I'm losing. I feel great. People telling me I'm starting to look a lot thinner than what I used to. I mean, I don't see it as much as everybody else does because, you know, I look in the mirror and I just, you know, I'm still, you know, I got the chin, the double chin. And I know eventually it'll go, but, you know, one day at a time, right? One day at a time. So I'm very happy. Um, I feel good. You know, I'm doing my, as far as I can, I'm doing my walking every day. Some days get really busy at work and I don't get that chance to actually go for a walk. But, with my job, I am very active. Um, I work in the field. I do a lot of physical work. So I think it kind of offsets the walking if I'm really busy and I'm working. So um, let's see. What else? I don't know if you guys noticed. I'm kind of getting scraggly here. I'm actually not shaving this month because normally November is no shave November. So I'm going to grow out the beard to see how it goes. I did it last year. It's okay. <laughs> but you'll notice every week when I do my video that it gets a little thicker and thicker. Might actually keep it for a while. I don't know. Usually I get annoyed with it and I just get rid of it, but we shall see. So let's get into the next thing here. Let's see. We got, uh, so as you guys know, every week I do a movie quote. So last week, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Brandon that got last week's one. And last week's one was Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Very good job on that. One of my favorite movies. I love... That's a great movie. So this week's another one. It, it, it should be... It might be easy. It might not be easy. Depends on who is a fan or not. So this week's quote. All right. You ready? All right. Working hard is important, but there is something that matters even more. Believing in yourself. That's a great movie quote. Not just from the movie, but honestly, I mean, if you don't believe in yourself, what are you going to do? You know, working hard is important. And you need to work hard to lose weight. And you need to work hard in, in everything in your life, I think. You know, it, you need to. You know, hard work and dedication gets results. But at the same time, you really need to believe in yourself. Pretty good advice. Believe in yourself. So that's the movie quote this week. If you know what it is, put a comment down below. Let me know. And I'll let you know if you're right or not. And then on top of the uh, movie quote, I always like to do one of my favorite quotes. If opportunity doesn't knock, build the door. Simple, right? And that's by Milton Berle. So that is one of my favorite quotes. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Good one. 
So going into the weekend, um, don't have too many plans this weekend. Probably just going to do some stuff around the house. Got to clean up some leaves outside. Fall weather. Got to love it. Leaves fall. Got to clean it up. So on Sunday, I have a buddy at mine at work that is a, uh, is a deer hunter. And he had uh, given me a, a venison roast. Nice hindquarter roast. So I think this Sunday I might actually uh, get the smoker going and smoke that venison, see how it comes out. I've never cooked venison before. I've, I've eaten it, and I like it. It's good stuff. But I figured, you know what, let me give it a shot. I give it a shot. So maybe I'll actually even make a video of that this Sunday. I also have um, some bratwurst that I picked up and a uh, little small little uh, pork loin that I can do. So I'll probably uh, do a video on Sunday about cooking. What the heck, right? Sunday fun day. So we shall see. So that'll be good. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's my week. Um, I, like I said, I shared with you my... Uh, my measurements from when I started and now. You got my weight loss in there. So, Little Helper really wants to get in here and say hello. So come on on here, Little Helper. Come on. Say something. Hi. That's it? That's all you got for them? <laughs> you wanted so badly to be in this video. That's all you're going to say? <laughs> no? No? What? Alright, guys. <laughs> Hi. All right, go. <laughs> oh, boy. Kids got to love them. So I hope everybody has a really good weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Have fun. And uh, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Have a good night. Bye.